Yo, what's going on, YouTube family? So let's talk about this quickly. Uh, by the way, if you see this video, go ahead and like it. If you support this channel, subscribe to the channel if you're not. Let's talk about these positive truck drivers on YouTube. These YouTubers who are nothing but positive. You're not going to find them saying anything negative about the trucking industry. And it had me wondering. I'm looking at a lot of these videos and uh, these guys... It's important to realize that a lot of people are on YouTube for one reason. And when they are able to accomplish the reason why they're on YouTube, they look at how they accomplished what they accomplished and they capitalize on that. Meaning they keep doing it over and over again because it's bringing about uh, so-called good results and yeah the videos will bring in views uh it'll bring in subscribers and which if you're monetized on youtube that's going to bring in more money for your channel from uh ad revenue and so forth and so i find it mind-blowing that some of these guys and this is no cheap shots in anybody but some of these guys have nothing bad to say about trucking and they'll look at people like me and they'll say that I'm just making noise and I'm talking crazy and you shouldn't listen to guys like me because it's a lot of other guys out there like me. Uh, we tell you the truth about trucking. We don't give you the good things about trucking. And there's a few good things about trucking and but I like to tell people the bad stuff. I like to tell you the bad stuff because had I had someone to tell me all the bad stuff, I wouldn't have gotten into this industry about 10 years ago. I wouldn't have done it. You know, I would have found other ways. And there are other ways out there. Uh, but to some people, trucking is what they want to do. It's what I like to do. It's not what I'm going to do my whole entire life in my working career. No, I'm making steps to do other things. I am doing other things now. And as I stated in the video a few weeks ago, I'm taking steps to within four years to be out of trucking completely, God willing. But uh, I've done it long enough. I've been in many configurations within trucking. I haven't just been local. Uh, I haven't just been over the road. I haven't just been um, driving a sleeper truck. I haven't just driven a day cab. Man, I've done it. Uh, man, I've done it all, man, almost in trucking. So I know what I'm talking about. Guys like me, we know what we're talking about when we're pleading with the people considering getting into trucking about what they should expect and the things that they should be aware of before they get into the industry because it's not what they tell you it's not what they tell you in trucking school it's not what the recruiters are going to tell you at these trucking companies whether it be they're recruiting you for something local regional or over the road they're not going to tell you 100 percent everything that you're going to deal with and that's the problem uh we don't have enough people well we do have enough people out there now but we don't have enough people out there willing to listen People get their mindset on doing something and it doesn't matter what you tell them. Uh, they're going to do it. Grown ups are going to make grown up decisions. That's one of the best parts about being grown. You get to make your own decisions and you got to live with whatever the outcome is of those decisions. But uh, guys don't want to hear the negative. They'll flock to these YouTube channels that's flooding them with all this. Oh, uh, don't listen to these guys that's telling you all the negative stuff because those guys are just disgruntled. Uh, they're just working in a particular job that they don't like with a company that they don't like, or they're doing all that. They'll make up all this, all this other crazy stuff, man. And I don't believe that. Uh, I believe that you should listen to people in trucking who have had more than two jobs within two different configurations in the industry meaning guys who have experience five years or more preferably 
and they've worked in different configurations, meaning they've worked for local companies. They've worked for over the road companies. They've been regional. They've hauled dedicated freight. They've hauled refrigerated freight. They've hauled tankers. They have all of this experience, not just somebody that's driven locally and they're on YouTube trying to be a trucking guru. No, I'm talking about people who know what they're talking about I'm talking about people that have lived it, not just people who are talking to people who have done it, but I'm talking about the people who have done it themselves. They've experienced the hurt, the good, the bad, the ugly, every side of trucking. Those are the people you want to listen to before you make a decision about getting into trucking or uh, a decision about going over into a different driving configuration within trucking those are the guys you need to be listening to because it's important to look at the experience of these guys on youtube and it's like you will know them by their fruit okay you have a large youtube following but what are your fruit what have you done uh do you know how to trip plan a load across the country uh do you know how to hook up and disperse gasoline out of a tanker do you know how to scrap and unscrap and tarp flat flatbed freight that's the thing that's what i look for when i want to get advice within the trucking industry because those guys have experienced it they know it they've been with the ups and downs they haven't just driven over the road they haven't just driven locally god forbid only one type of configuration locally but man, you know, they just have a abundance of knowledge and experience, not what they've gained from others by talking to them, but they've lived it. They've done it. And so what you need to realize about these guys on YouTube, they're making money off you. They want to make you feel well. They want to make you feel good by telling you that, hey, don't listen to people that talking negative about trucking. They don't know what they're talking about. They're just disgruntled. Get into it. You'll make all this money and all of this. Um, you'll do this and you'll do that. But all the people that you see that's giving you the negative side, don't listen to those people. They they, they just disgruntled. They don't know what they're talking about. That's my issue. And that's what I want to make clear. Those guys, you should stay away from. Do not listen to them. Do not follow them. Their goal is to get you coming back, watching their videos, so that they're collecting money from you and they don't have to tell you the truth about what the industry really is today and where the industry is headed in the future. Trucking is trash. I'm just going to be on. It's trash right now. Uh, it's trash in the future where it's headed. And my advice to anybody looking to get into it, find something else. Uh, if you don't have any other options and you're looking to get into it, Make sure you do your research. Make sure you talk to plenty of people that's working at the company that you're applying to. Make sure, sure you talk to people who are going to tell you the truth, not just blow your head up with all this positive mumbo jumbo. But they're going to be honest with you about what to expect in the industry. And so those are people that you want to talk to. And, you know, me. I'm one of the most pop people hear the way that I speak sometimes and they hear me talking this way and they say, oh, that guy just he's negative. Man, I'm one of the most positive people you'll probably ever meet. I love you enough to tell you the truth. I love you enough to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Whether you like listening to it or not, whether you subscribe to the channel or not, whether you like the video or not, it doesn't matter to me. I don't do it to make money. I work. I do other things to make money. I'm not trying to be some type of YouTube celebrity, but I love you enough to tell you the truth. And I'm, I think that's positive in itself. Somebody loving you enough to tell you the truth, whether that truth is positive to you or negative to you really doesn't matter, but it's the truth. And that's what you need to hear. So y'all, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to be on the lookout for more videos. And remember, don't be offended. That's just our B2Speaks. I'm Walter, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!